I built all of my chargers into this hard case, and you should build one too. YouTubers keep building charging stations and walls saying it's the best thing ever, and I built one back in the day too. But I'm here to say no, because not everyone's a YouTuber that only shoots in their studio, and a lot of people actually have to take their chargers onto set or out with them. So if you have everything stuck to a wall, then you're out of luck. Or if you velcroed it to the wall instead and think, oh, I can just pull it all off. Well, then you're just left with a bag full of loose chargers again, which is exactly what you're trying to avoid in the first place. So I decided to put everything into a small hard case that I can either put on my shelves or take with me to set and have everything in there ready to go with the ultimate portable form factor and protection of a hard case. I'm considering this a Mark 1 design and would love to build out a better version in the future. If you guys have any ideas for upgrades I could make, I'd love to read them in the comments. Okay, so I made a few decisions pretty early on. It had to be a hard case and it had to fit all my charges, so I placed them all out on the floor and checked how much room they'd take up. And then I bought this pretty cheap case off Amazon that was the right size. I also decided that I didn't want to be able to charge anything while the case was closed. Charging batteries generates heat, and I didn't want to trap all that inside. All of the cable mess and the power board are mounted under this piece of core flute, which is plastic and non-flammable, and it's cut perfectly to size so that it holds itself in with friction, but can still be removed if anything needs to be changed. I'm using a power board as well as an Anker 6 USB charger. To add support, I cut pieces of PVC pipe and hot glue them around the case to match the height of the power board. Once the core flute was in place, I used Velcro command strips to stick down the chargers, so if I did need to remove or swap one, I could do so without much hassle. Then I cut holes for the power cables. To make the top of the case a bit nicer, and a bit more functional, I added two netted pouches which I used to separate charged batteries from flat batteries. Lastly, I added this LED strip and motion sensor, so the light will turn on when you open the case. This makes it much easier to see all the black on black chargers, but can easily be turned off if you don't need it. Overall, this charging case is super convenient and still has room for some other chargers if I end up needing them. It's not as pretty as I would have liked, but maybe this can be rectified in the next one, with maybe some 3D printed parts? I'd definitely buy a nicer case for version 2 because this one doesn't close super easily, and I'd like to have a bit more depth in the lid to allow for more battery storage. Some kind of ventilation might be a consideration as well for the upgrade, along with a large portable battery so that it could even charge while it's closed and in transit, without any of those safety concerns. Maybe also a power switch somewhere so that I can turn the case on or off without disconnecting it from power. Please comment below with any ideas that you guys might have for a Mark II, or let me know if you decide to build your own. Anyway, thanks for checking out this build, and hopefully you'll see me in the next video. See ya!